How's it going everyone? Jibin Fate here and welcome back to Dragon Age Origins. Today, we will finally move on to a new main quest. I still don't know where to go, but first let me take a look at my party. And the party starts as me, as a mage, and Leliana as a rogue. Indeed. And now I can just pick anyone I want. Maybe it's time to bring out Zevran. Yes. And that means I need to get a tank. How about I take Stan this time? Yes. They agree. All right. Now I can go to Denry, the city. I can also go to the Throsback Mountains or to Redcliffe Village, which they mentioned that I should go here. But that was from Alistair when I was leaving, you know, Ostagar. And there's also the Brazilian outskirts. And you know what? I actually want to go there. Home of the Elves, I guess, I heard that. It actually doesn't say it here. But hey, my character is an Elven Mage. And I also have uh, Zevran in the party, so why not? Hopefully it's not too hard, because the game really wanted me to go here. Hopefully we are not missing anything because of that. But hey, if I'm missing something, good. That means I actually managed to play differently than like five or four years ago when I first played the game. Oh shit! Right. Disarm it. Let me play with the archers. Isn't this the same map? Yeah, it feels like the same map from the premium content when I somebody got stabbed in. Right I am. They're hitting me. Oh boy. Stan, come on, man. Like, why? Yes. Stan is useless. He's the tank and dies first. I still remember no. my first bat. Hello, my shot. Watch out! Oh. Oh. Alright. Oh. I don't even have the resources anymore. Oh. 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 oh, fuck's sake. Come on. I think this playthrough is is GG. Look at this. All of them are focusing me. And Stan is just sleeping. You should run while you can. I love this girl. This really gets the plus. GG. This is the finale of Dragon Age Origins. I do, I do love a good death battle. This won't take long. 
miss. Dude, we are even dying here. Part. That's just load game. Delighted. It's useless. As you desire. Indeed. Yes. Yes. I should have less than in lottering. He never worked in a party, even when I also brought Alistair. Hank, no, Stan always dies. <laughs> what a useless character. Now this can be any other combat, I guess. Whoever draws yeah. the axe from this tree stump, ah, it's wedged in there awful tight. You, sir, see if you are the anointed one. Destined to pull the axe from the stump. You bloody loony you are. Ah, now this is also annoying because I cannot get my revenge. But that means that combat encounter can ha happen anytime again. Who the hell are these people? What now? Here I stand. Yes. He did it! Maker be praised. He is the one you prophesied. You are destined to be the ruler of all Thedas. Hail to the king! Hail! That's not gonna happen. I'm an elven what? mage. Pulling some half-drunk logger's axe from a tree is no basis for a system of government. But the good sir has such a regal manner. What? How do you mean? For one thing, he hasn't got dung all over him. Ah, that's a fair point. What? What the heck is this? Aximeter. Aximeter? Lucky. Interesting. Hold on, you said this is way better. It's for killing dragons. Oh, but the knock crusher gives a hundred stamina. Okay, this one goes here. Rainbow power, yeah. <laughs> Maybe this one gave debuff, like low morale. It's a unique one. But Eliana has been using these stupid boots a while for now. For a while. Yet she doesn't go down. So is this better to use on Leliana? More, it's more damage. Like you actually don't need to be a 
You don't need daggers as a rogue in this game. You can use any weapons to backstab and stuff like that. But obviously daggers has better bonuses. Yeah, it feels like it's better to use this. Okay, so this is a weird area. But that's it. Of course. Just come here, get an axe, get some stupid comments. And I mean, I don't mind, because I really need to buy a lot of resources. Potions, I mean. Ah. Oh. Hold, outsider. You may be of my kind, but you are not Dalish. Why are you here? I have business with your leader, actually. And what business is that? I will tell to the Keeper and no one else. Seeing as you are obviously no simple trespasser, I will leave it to the Keeper to decide the importance of your business. In the camp, I suggest you keep your hands to yourself, and remember that our arrows are still trained on you. Follow me. I guess this is easier if you're an elf. Hello. Hmm. I see we have guests. Who are these strangers, Mithra? I have precious little patience and less time to spend on outsiders today. I understand. But this one claims to have important business with our people. I see. Tell me, stranger. What business could you possibly have with us? We have our own issues we must deal with, as you can see. And what issues are those? Answer my question first. If I agree with you, I will indulge your curiosity at length. I come representing the Grey Wardens. You might have simply said so to begin with. Masirinus Mithra, you may return to your post. Manuvinen Keeper. Now, allow me to introduce myself. I am Zathrian, the Keeper of this clan. Its guide and preserver of our ancient lore. And you are? My name is Tev. A pleasure to meet you. If you came to bring news of the Blight in the South, it is not needed. I had already sensed its corruption. I would have taken the clan north by now, had we the ability to move. Sadly, as you can see, we do not. So their first reaction to trouble is to flee from it. Curious. I imagine you are here regarding the treaty we signed centuries ago. Unfortunately, we may not be able to live up to the promise we made. This will require some explanation. Please, follow me. The clan came to the Brazilian forest one month ago, as is our custom when we enter this part of Ferelden. We are always wary of the dangers in the forest, but we did not expect the werewolves would be lying in wait for us. They ambushed us, and though we drove the beasts back, much damage was done. Many of our warriors lie dying as we speak, Just even with all our magic point and me to the nearest skill, trader, please. We will eventually be forced to slay our brethren to prevent them from becoming beasts. The Blight's evil must be stopped, but we are in no position to uphold our obligations. I am truly sorry. Why did these beasts attack you? 
They are savage and unrelenting. They need no reason to attack anyone. What is curious, however, is the ambush. We expect werewolves to be no more cunning than a rabid wolf. The ambush suggests a level of intelligence we've never seen before. Maybe they aren't unintelligent as you think. I doubt that. The very curse that is in their blood fills them with an unreasoning rage that precludes any true thought. Is there no way to help your men? The affliction is a curse that runs rampant in their blood, bringing great agony and then ultimately either death or a transformation into something monstrous. The only thing that could help them must come from the source of the curse itself. And that, that would be no trivial task to retrieve. You are talking about a werewolf. No, but it is the one who made these werewolves come to be. Within the Brazilian forest dwells a great wolf. We call him Witherfang. It was within him that the curse originated, and through his blood that it has been spread. If he is killed and his heart brought to me, perhaps I could destroy the curse. But this task has proven too dangerous for us. I sent some hunters into the forest a week ago, but they have not returned. I cannot risk any more of my clan. You said you could perhaps destroy the curse. There is no guarantee that this will work, as I suspect. But it's the only hope we have left. If I help you, what will you give me? We would assist with the blight, of course. And you would have our gratitude. I would prefer a more substantial, substantial reward. A reward, is it? Very well. We have very little of the coin your people use, but we do craft items they find valuable. Return with the heart, and I will give you something extra that I'm sure you will have no trouble selling. Good enough? It is good enough. Like, I came here as a Grey Warden. That means you must help me. Now you gave me a quest. Okay, I'll do it for you. But the quest needs, you know, a reward. <laughs> That's how it works. So, yeah, I'll find this with fang for you. I must warn you that more than werewolves lurk in the Brazilian forest. It has a history full of carnage and murder, you see. Where there is so much death, the veil separating the spirit realm from our own becomes thin, allowing spirits to possess things, living or dead. I already but if you can name, indeed the help, way. then I wish you luck. Bald guy. The last mage that was bald had gave me some trouble. I have some questions for you. Make them quick, if you please. I have much to do here. My apprentice Lanaya or Seyrel, the clan's storyteller, could provide you with answers just as easily. Tell me more about this curse that hunters suffer from. There is not much to say. It stemmed originally from Witherfang, but now any werewolf may infect someone with it. How did this curse start? That is a long tale I do not have time to tell. Ask Seyrel about it if you wish. So, if a werewolf bites me... I will become infected? It is possible, but not guaranteed. The only way to protect against the curse is not to be bitten. How do you know if you have been infected by the curse? You will know within a matter of days. You will begin to sweat and vomit, and most tellingly, your temper will become wild and uncontrollable. If that happens to you, you should seek out Witherfang even more swiftly. Then my your mission at that point will be is gonna fall off personal like yours? And you're infected, maybe? Huh? Huh? Or is it a tadpole that's doing this? Oh, wait, wrong game. So, did all werewolves everywhere... What? Wait. So, did all werewolves everywhere stem from Witherfang? Yeah. Okay. No. The ones from this forest, however, do. I want to ask about something else. Go on, then. How do I find Witherfang? Do you have any advice? Watch for the white wolves. They are his eyes and ears in the forest. Uh, no. I must return to caring for my people. 
Creator's speed on your way. Question. Can I loot this? Please leave that be. If you have need of equipment, I am sure Master Verathorn can help you. Zetria said that I could have what's inside here. Please do not lie to me. I find it most unbecoming. Aww. Anderinatitian Grey Warden. My name is Lanaya. I am Zapian's first, what you might call an apprentice, perhaps. I've been studying under the Keeper all my life. I am a bit curious of the outside world. Do you mind if I ask you a question or two? If you like, go ahead. I hear the human cities are very large. Thousands upon thousands of souls all packed together in their houses. Is that true? Why don't you go and see a city for yourself? No, I could never leave the clan. My duties here are important to my people, and to me. No doubt, I would not even find my way. I try to imagine those of our people living in such a place, surrounded by walls of stone and indifference. It is a difficult thought. And your way is better? Better for our people, yes. Elves are not the same as your kind. Our souls are more... fragile. Is that the right word? It is said that one day we will what have a land kind? of our own. We Dalish gather the ancient wisdom in preparation for this. When that day comes, all elves, even those who have forgotten, will reclaim their former glory. I have one more question, though I'm not sure you can answer it. Do the humans ever regret what they did to us? I really can't tell. I haven't seen anything. I understand. One cannot expect to see the questions of history answered on human faces. A poet once wrote of them, before the fall of the Dales. Like dragons they fly, glory upon wings. Like dragons they savage, fearsome pretty things. But you don't need me to quote poetry to you. Forgive me. Perhaps you have some questions of your own. Yeah, I cannot help you. I was locked in a closet. What can you tell me about Zathrian? Nothing that you could not ask Zathrian himself. He is the keeper of this clan and has been for a very long time. He is also a very good man who has lost much. The Dalish are everything to him, and he would do anything to protect them. Lost much? What has he lost? I really shouldn't talk about uh, that. I need to That's something person. you should ask him about yourself. Why are the Dalish so hostile? They have reason. Since the days of Arlathan, my people have been either subjugated or homeless. What is this Arlathan you mentioned? It was our ancestral home long Charlatan? ago when the humans first came to these lands. We were free then and immortal. We did not know how to deal with the humans, and in the end, they turned their power against us and destroyed Arlathan. Our ancestors were enslaved and our culture lost forever. Ooh. What was that noise at the end? Elves were immortal then. They died, but not of an aged body as other races do. Not until the humans came. According to the legends, association with humans caused us to quicken. Our blood sped, and we began to age. So we avoided them naturally. And then we were enslaved by them for a thousand years. And in so doing, we all were quickened permanently and our immortality destroyed. Or so the old tales say. Does Arlatan still exist? Not to my knowledge. According to the old tales, the human mages sank Arlathan into the ground, crushing it beneath the rock. So you lost the war. You wouldn't be the first. One wonders why we weren't more prepared when the humans conquered our second homeland. We will be more cautious if we ever have a third. Is there no way to get on your clan's good side? It requires an individual to prove he is not the outsider we have come to expect. Your own task to help our clan is certainly a step in the right direction. But I am not responsible for what's been done to the elves. That's true. And you're not even a human, so it's doubly unfair. But fairness does not play into such feelings. No outsider has ever been good for us.
You are not hostile. I was not born here, so I see things differently from the others. Still, I do not blame them for what they feel. Perhaps this may change one day, but I believe the humans would have to take the first steps, if they are capable. Wasn't your homeland called the Dales? That was our second homeland. Our first was the great city of Arlathan. The Dales came when they were freed from enslavement. Elves everywhere journeyed hundreds and thousands of miles to the Dales, eager to start their lives anew. They called it the Long Walk. They reached the Dales and made it their own. And one day it was taken from us too. And you wonder why we are hostile. I want to ask something else. Certainly. What does a Keeper do exactly? A Keeper is, first and foremost, the leader of the clan. He decides where we go and when we shall move. He's also responsible for knowing the clan's ancient lore and passing it on to the others in the clan. Without a Keeper, the clan's knowledge is lost forever. So the clan protects him like no other. Tell me more about yourself. I'm hardly anyone special, I assure you. If I seem different from the rest of my clan, it's only because I was born amongst humans. I came to the Dalish at a very young age, but I've always retained my curiosity about the world I came from. How did you come to the Dalish if you're so young? 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 My parents were servants <laughs> to a human merchant whose caravan plied the southern routes. One day, bandits killed him, and my parents both. I was the only survivor, just a young girl. And the bandits took me. I was their servant for several years. I'm sorry, it must have been horrible. It was. The long years of reflection have allowed me to come to terms with it, to put them in perspective. I can only imagine what would have happened had the clan not saved me from them. I owe them my life for that, and more. You said that the Dalish rescued you from the bandits. The bandits killed a scout when the clan passed near their camp. When the clan discovered him, Zathrian came looking for his killers. He followed their tracks for almost a month, and when he finally caught up to us, he fell on the bandits like a terror. No one could stop him. I sat there, and I watched him attack them in a blur, and I reveled in every blow. When he saw me, the fury in his eyes turned to pity. It's ruled the Dales, you see. As I suspected, That's... Not what you say. Hey. Didn't you have family you could have returned to? It's possible I might have had some. Maybe many. Zathrian offered to take me back, but I had no idea where I was from. And I wanted to stay with a man who rescued me. The clan is my family. Any others out there? It's best they believe that little girl died with her parents. For now, the clan is all I need. My old world could not have offered me all this, and the knowledge of a Keeper as well. Perhaps, one day, when I am Keeper, I might inquire out of curiosity. I'm not sure what lies down that road except pain, however. How did you become a Keeper? I am not a Keeper. I am oh. Zathrian's first. Though because I was not born into the clan, becoming his first was very difficult. We Dalish have old traditions. The clans come from the ranks of the nobility that once ruled the Dales, you see. The keepers of those old clans have the strongest and purest blood that reaches back to the days of Arlathan. I had to compete against the other candidates for first, to be better than them in everything, <clears throat> simply because I was not of the old blood. What did Zetrian think of that? He was proud of me. I've always thought of him as a father in a way, and he could not hide his pleasure when I became his first. The clan has placed great trust in me. One day, I will lead them and be the one who secures our future. I should go. As you wish. Darth Shiro. Alright. Do you mind if I take anything from here? Hey! Is it strange to live amongst the Shemlin? To know nothing about your people? Ooh, stuff. Need more. Eldest of the Sun. Alright. 
Let's look around. We need to find a lot of stuff. But otherwise, we do not stand the chance. I might need to move Stan if he dies again. Hello. Hello. I'm not afraid of you. I'm a great Dalish warrior. Hello. I am a blood fountain. I am not scary. <laughs> Anathara, Grey Warden. Yeah, yeah. Hello? I trust there are no hard feelings about my questioning of you when you arrived. We Dalish must protect ourselves from trouble at all times. Do others truly trouble you as much? So much? These days, very little to tell the truth, for we've established a fearsome reputation amongst the Shemlin. We must still be vigilant, however. Not that I would expect an outsider to understand, but there you have it. We do what we must. You might have just told me you were a Grey Warden and saved me the grief, though I suppose I can hardly blame your caution. But I wish you good fortune with your task. Dareth Shiral. Be careful in the camp. We are not used to outsiders walking amongst us, remember. Anathara, Grey Warden. Anathara, Grey Warden. Yeah, I heard it before. All right. All right. Hello. I'm Darren Atitian, stranger. I am Athras. I hope the others have not been too harsh in their treatment of you. They've been a bit suspicious. I would be the same in their place. They have just been attacked, after all. It is not our intention to insult a Grey Warden. We are simply wrapped up in the plight of our hunters. It is easy to forget simple niceties at such a time. I understand you will search for the wolves in the Brazilian forest. I would join you, but Zathrian has forbidden me. Forbidden you? We are banned from entering the forest now. I have more cause than most, but I will not disobey my keeper. Why do you want to enter the forest? I suppose there's no harm in telling a fellow elf, but surely you have greater concerns than any problem of mine, no? I'd like to hear about it. Well, perhaps you could help me with it. I would certainly appreciate anything you could do. My wife, Denila, and I both fought the werewolves in the ambush. She was injured so gravely, the curse spread rapidly in her. Zathrian fought hard to ease her pain, but there was little he could do. And though he says that Denila is dead, he will not let me see her... her body. I am beginning to believe she became a werewolf. Yeah, I just wanted to say and that. And it's being kept from me, so I do not go chasing after her. I would not allow any to keep me from my goal. Going out there could cause another attack, and I wish no harm upon my clan. This I understand. To hold the group over the individual is worthy. An unexpected trait in your kind. If I could just know if Denila is alive or what happened to her, then I could be at peace. Perhaps I could convince Zathrian to tell the truth? No. It would be very rude to accuse the Keeper of lying. I know he means well. I just need to know. One way or another. If you were in the forest, perhaps you might come across her. Alive or dead. Any news would be better than none. And in return, I would be mm. happy to gift you an amulet made by our craftsmen. It may fetch amulet. you some coin in the human lands. Ooh. I see what I can do. You are most kind. Please. Should you come across my wife, return and tell me. I will. I guess we're gonna enter that place. Oh. Of course. I'm clicking on everything, but it doesn't give me an XP, huh? All right. Blood writing. And so I shall. Hello. Let's just save. Also... Okay, the recording is still going on. Good. I'm sorry, but I must attend to our ailing fallen. Good luck. Zatrian, why is your name orange? 
It's not suspicious at all. Anathara, Grey Warden. Oh, I guess this of one course. leads to the forest. Statue as did it. Ah, oh, come on. Hello. Anathara, Grey Warden. Anathara, random citizen. Hi. Andaran Atitian outsider. Who are you? I am Gaina. Is there something you need from me? Can you answer some questions? I am not sure what I can tell you, but I shall try. Tell me more about... Yeah, tell me about the forest. You would be best to speak to Seyrel. He is our storyteller and knows far more of such tales. Does he know any rumor? <laughs> Uh, what can you tell me about Zathrian? Zathrian? He has been our keeper since long before my parents' parents were born. What could you wish to know about him? Just how old is Zathrian exactly? I cannot talk today. I don't know. Very old. It is said that Zathrian may be one of the first to become as our ancestors were long ago. Immortal. Ah. Huh. But how could that be? Why him and not others? We... we all live longer than the Flat Ears, the elves who live with humans. The Keepers even more so because of their knowledge of the old ways. Why Zathrian differs from the others, I do not know. Perhaps he has been blessed by the creators. I think you guys forget to notice that he has an orange text above his head, you know. What is a Keeper exactly? He keeps us safe. And he keeps the knowledge of our people safe. So we may bring it to all of our people one day. Bring it to all of your people? To your people. When there is a new homeland for us all to settle in, the Dalish shall teach your people what they have forgotten. Uh-huh. Where does he get this knowledge? From the other clans. And from the artifacts we uncover in our travels. Everywhere the old empire was, so went their slaves. Pieces of our past lie everywhere. What knowledge is that exactly? The ways of our ancestors, of course. From the time of our Lathan, before the human empire enslaved our people. Mm hmm I have another question about Zatrian. Yes. Uh, I want to know something else. What is that? I want to know more about your people. You should speak to Lanaya. She's the Keeper's first, and knows much of such questions. I need some equipment. Master Verathorn should have what you need. Seek him out at the forge. I should go. Then may the creators bring you fortune. Bye. Save. Anathara, Grey Hello. Warden. Hello. I'm not afraid of you. I'm a great Dalish warrior. Allow me. I could do that for you. New armor? New armor! Oh, but you have the leather set. Yeah, it looks better on Liliana anyway. If only we could hide the stupid helmet. Right. I don't want to know. Hmm. Don't want to know what. Stan, you're not making any sense. As you desire. I'm not getting XP for this. I'm sad.
right? Hello? Who comes? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> I beg your pardon, stranger. I was so busy attending to the Hala, I did not hear your approach. What is a Hala? They are the noble beasts that pull our Aravel. What humans call land ships. They are our companions and our guides. They are not your mounts? We ride the Hala, but never with reins or a saddle. It is the Hala who decide where to lead us, and our privilege that they take our Aravel with them. In return, it's the herder's job to speak to the Hala and care for their needs. It's a bond of friendship and not servitude. So why have you separated this one from the others? I fear she may have been bitten during the werewolf attack. I have tried speaking with her, but she is too agitated for me to understand. The curse would not affect her as it would us, but it would still be lethal. And it may prove contagious to the other Hala as well. I can find no wound on her, but... If she's truly ill, then... Then I will have to put her out of her misery. For her sake, as well as that of the others. Is there anything I can do to help? I don't know. Do you have any skills that might help her? If you do, I would be grateful. Pretend to examine the Hala. I could kill her. <laughs> survival examine. I don't have survival. No idea. And? What do you think? You're right, this animal is suffering. But if that's a lie, that's not the truth. <laughs> Genius. Um, I truly cannot tell. I am glad you attempted it regardless. Try to calm it? It's not gonna happen, I don't have points in survival. No. No, I'm sorry. She isn't calming any more around you than she is for me. And maybe I need more. I'm sorry I tried my best. I know. It was kind of you to try. I should go. I will watch her for a while longer and see if her condition changes. I am grateful for your assistance, friend. I did nothing. Greater survival skill would likely be needed. Greater. Yeah, which one? It's probably not the first, but that means I need to put points here. <laughs> That's so not gonna happen. Uh uh. I need to level up this. And some tactics would be nice. Of course. Nope. My chest. Allow right. me. I could do that for you. There's gonna be a lot of talking in this episode because we just arrived to a new place. All right, Varathorn, you are my man. What are you doing? You've warped the wood completely. Did you leave it out in the rain? No, Master Varathorn. I, uh, I think I just used too much heat. You're not smelting ore like a Durgenlin. This is living wood. It requires patience and delicate hands, not more heat. My actions bring me sorrow, Master Verathorn. And so they should. Truly the art will be lost to us forever at this rate. Throw away your dead wood and start anew, and I shall speak to our guest. Now then, please forgive my distraction, stranger. Is there something that you need? I would like to barter with you. I am no merchant, but let us trade. 
Perhaps there's something here which will be of value to you. I hope so. Like stuff like these. Give me ev anything. Everything. This is the one that keeps me alive. It's a gift? Sure. base medium armor yo is everyone it's obviously better You are not selling flask? Hold on. I need lithium. What do you wish? I am not Of course you don't have lithium. What do you wish? What exactly do you make here? I'm the clan's craftsmaster. Whoa. It's my responsibility what? to learn what I can of the ancient elven arts of shaping wood and ore. In truth, we Dalish know Why little of the art compared to what we once armor? did. And even what we know has taken us many lifetimes to achieve. There is wood that, if treated properly, is as hard as steel but far lighter. It grows only in this forest. Ironbark. The Keeper has forbidden us from entering the forest to collect the wood. <laughs> this means I cannot make our finest crafts for years to come. Uh, what if I found some ironbark for you? Can you teach me how to... You know what, forget it. I would be hesitant to ask it of you, but if you should come across ironbark, I suppose there would be no harm in gathering some. It is blue and very distinctive. You can only harvest the bark which has fallen off the tree from age. Now, if you find some, bring it to me, and I will craft it for you. Very well, I will take a look when I'm in the forest. That would please me, so long as our hunters come first. I shouldn't go. Darth Shiro, may the creators visit fortune upon you. I didn't press on trade. 
this time. Whoa, he has a turret armor. Oh. From this side, he's just a civilian. But from here, this side, he's the elven Batman. And from this side, he is the true king of the elven forest. And from this side, you can see his majestic... <laughs> what the heck am I doing? All right. Oh. And so I shall. Uh, Zethrian. Yes? What is it you need? Have you news? I need some equipment. What do you say about that? Then I suggest you see Master Verathorn. I will instruct him to put aside some supplies for you. The kind that the hunters use. I spoke to Lanaya about you. And what did she have to say? She told me you'd lost so much. There was no soul there. Why did I say that? But wouldn't elaborate. I have. I have lost much to these werewolves, and now they are about to take even more from me. I do not wish to dwell on the past. It is too painful. Just help if you can, or leave us to our misery. She said that you have been keeper for a very long time. That's true. Hundreds of years, if you must know. Slowly the Dalish will all know once again the agelessness of the elves. For now, only a few of us have regained that ability. But I cannot say any more on that. I trust your curiosity is sated? No. I must return to caring for my people. Creator's speed on your way. You're not afraid How of me? How come you aren't a Dalish like us? Anathara Grey Warden. Anathara Grey Warden. Hello. I'm not afraid of you. I'm a great Dalish warrior. Anathara Grey Warden. Hello. Uh, hello? Hello. Hello yourself. Who are you? I am Kamen, a hunter apprentice. You look Though look I wish like I could one. become a real hunter. Definitely look like one. So we won and stop wishing for it. I... never mind. Just go away and leave me alone. I told you to leave me alone. Tell me what your problem is. I shouldn't be talking about this to an outsider. You wouldn't understand. Try me. I might surprise you. I suppose there's no harm in it. It's not like you can help me. Are all these baths such cringing, ineffectual creatures? I've been an apprentice for too long. To become a true hunter, I must bring back the pelt of a beast I killed myself. A boar or a wolf or something. I wanted to hunt in the forest, but we're forbidden to enter because of the attack. But the real problem is Gaina. Girl problems, I see. She's my heart's desire. I have asked for her hand, but she cruelly refuses it. She will not bond with an apprentice, she says, and calls me a child. I am no child. If I was a hunter, I could prove it, but I cannot hunt and... And Gaina will never bond with me. I feel so helpless. Uh, I shouldn't have brought it up. Just leave me to my misery. Can I ask you some questions? I don't think there's anything I can tell you. My clanmates in the camp would be better at that. Why do you still have that? There is nothing more for us to speak of. Go away. Look, if you will just listen. No. Leave me be. 
Alright. Excuse me. Greetings once again. Come and told me about you. You spoke to him? What did he say? <laughs> he said that if he was lucky, he would bed you soon. He didn't! Kamen would never say such a thing! <laughs> what should I say? And I can see why. You are very beautiful indeed. I... uh... you... you are too kind. Oh boy. <laughs> kind? Not at all. Kamen is not good enough for you. What do you mean? I don't understand. Someone like myself. I mean, the right man will come along someday. I hope one day Kamen will complete the hunt. Just tell him I am sorry. Hello. There is nothing more for us to speak of. Go away. Look, if you just listen. No. Leave me be. Oh, really? I guess I need to find some thing. Like a pelt, I need to kill an animal. Uh, there was someone else here. You. We few wanderers greet you, friend. We do not see many of our city brethren here in the woods. Would you help us break our fast? I would like that. Come then and sit. Join us by the fire. I am Cyril. The clan's tale teller. I understand you are venturing into the haunted forest to save our hunters. I suspect Maybe. your efforts may be in vain. An entire group of our hunters went into the forest to do as you intend, and they have not returned. If I'm lucky, maybe I can find them. An outsider to the rescue, but of course. What were we doing trying to solve our own problems? I'm pretty sure I was sitting before. You think sarcasm is going to help, do you? Nothing will help us now. Least of all the meddling of an outsider. You are being most unkind, Cyril. Would you refuse our hunter's help simply because of the hand that offered it? <sighs> you shame me, Lethalan. I have allowed my bitterness to cloud my better judgment. Forgive me, Grey Warden. It is most difficult to forget the lessons these Shemlin have taught us. It is even more difficult when you live amongst them, trust me. Perhaps oh. I can yet make amends. Zevran is also Stay here. while I spin a tale for our children. <laughs> and then I will tell you of the forest if you desire. I want to know about the forest now. Then I'll tell you what I know. Our legends say that before the Shemlin came, the Brazilian forest was a place of our ancestors that predated even our oldest homeland. The people of the Imperium came here and gave the forest its name. If they found traces of our ancestors, we cannot say. If they did, those elves were slain or enslaved. We know only that a great many battles were fought here. These trees grow upon the graves of those who fell, Shemlin and elves both. And? So much death in one place tore the veil into the beyond. The Shemlin know the beyond as the Fade, the place of dreams and spirits. When the veil is torn, spirits pass into our world freely. The legends say that one great spirit possessed the wolf that became Witherfang, who passed its curse of rage onto men and created werewolves. Then were battles in the forest. Who can say what value the Imperium placed on this land? And how many elves died here? 
in slavery. Even the barbarians who came to overthrow the Imperium fought and died on this soil. How many better worlds are there? No one knows. When the Shemlin lived in these parts, the curse would spread anew to a few of them with each passing year. They would run off into the forest, never to be seen again. Eventually, all the Shemlin left. One assumes the werewolves survive by passing their curse to their offspring. They have had no new blood. Until now, that is. This Witherfang still exists today? So Zathrian insists. He says that Witherfang does not age as the werewolves do. Witherfang is as much spirit as it is beast, and thus it is immortal. Perhaps it cannot even be slain. At the very least, it is old and powerful, much as Zathrian himself. So there are many spirits in the forest. The forest is said to be haunted. Spirits possess the trees, the wolves, even the bodies of the dead. They yearn for true life, you see. That's all I need to know. One last warning. The forest is like a thing alive. It changes as it wills, closing paths behind you and opening up new ones. Too many have become lost within, unable to find their way out. Were I you, I would endeavor not to make the forest my enemy. Sure. There is nothing more for us to speak of. Go away. Fine, I'll go. Right. Um. Yes. Have you another question? Nope. As you wish. Darth Shiro. Did I check on everyone? I think I did. Just gonna run around one more time. Yep. I am ready. Hmm. What do you wish? I am no merchant, but... Um... I need this receipt. That's it, I guess. Also, there was another what option. What do you wish? I was told you could supply me with equipment. Yes, yes. The Keeper sent word that you might ask me for such. I took the liberty of assembling some goods that our hunters use. I notice you've already found the chest I placed it in. Feel free to sort through and take whatever you found there. If you've not done so already. Is there any other equipment you could spare? I have nothing left that the clan could spare, but... We do have goods that we were going to bring to the Shemlin villages to barter with. I should go. Gareth Shiro. Right. Can I craft? Oof. Stan? Vashadan. Yes. Thank you, Win. Horse feathers. Horse feathers? What? Indeed. What is that look? Blast and damnation! Okay, maybe the... What? Dog! 
okay it's actually the game that yeah obviously there are some issues again yay do i want stan i hate him yes don't look at me like that Zevran. he stares into my soul okay let's try it like this but i feel like win is also a very good character because she can heal Eliana? yes what do you know of this place people have always spoken of dark and mysterious woods haunted by beings unseen the Brazilian forest is one such forest. They say the veil is thin here, and spirits from the Fade pass over, drifting through the trees and giving them an unnatural and sinister intelligence. It is said that if you feel you are being watched in the Brazilian forest, you are. Good to know. Zevran? Here I am. I have a gift for you. How nice. How is this still neutral? Okay. Let's see if I can talk to you one more time. This isn't about Kamen again, is it? Forget Kamen, he's not mean enough for you. What do you mean? I don't understand. Let's just go for it. I mean, you deserve a more worldly man, someone like myself. You mean... Oh, <laughs> <laughs> that's quite flattering, but... Uh-oh. Come, let's discuss this in private. Just the two of us, you mean. You are not alone. Just the two of us. I really think we should talk. Well, I suppose there's no harm in it. We could talk in one of the Aravels. Liliana disapproves. Why? Also, why are you sitting on nothing? I can't believe I just did that! How can I live with myself? <laughs> Yo, buddy. There is nothing more for us to speak of. Go away. <laughs> I just wanted to let you know I bet it again. What? But she was to be my wife. <laughs> that seems a bit unlikely now, doesn't it? You, you don't even care for her. You've ruined my life. Bye. I can't believe I just did that. How can I live with myself? Do this, do that. What? On it! And the game has crashed. I was trying to avoid this. Oh boy, and I don't even know when I was... <laughs> well. That's how it ends for today. <laughs> Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one. And now I need to reload and do everything that I already did. Yay. Yay. Ah. <sighs>